Greetings everyone, a Rio Grande fan back here with another ESU tutorial video. There was some discussion recently on Facebook about some horns and trying to combine horns and so this video is going to be related to that. It's a little bit more advanced but the concepts can be used for a lot of different things and it's actually very easy to do. So I'm going to get right into it. So we want to keep a sound file that we're going to write to the decoder ultimately and that's going to be the S0768 file which is an EMD 16567C 2 exhaust it's going to go on the decoder that's going to go on the locomotive and what we want to do if we look at this pack the horns we want in this pack aren't even in here this particular individual would like the Leslie A125 and the Leslie A200 to play together at the same time and this pack won't won't do that so we have to do it a different way so we're not even going to use it we have some empty sound slots here 2 and 28, 30, 31 that we're going to use we're actually only going to use 2 and 28 we only need 2, we only have 2 horns so what we have to do is a little setup in this file and also we have to open up a donor file that has the horns that we want. So the donor file is S0746, the EMD16567B. Now you might say, well, what's the difference? Well, these are recorded by ESU from real locomotives, and this one was recorded with, from a locomotive that had a 16567B prime mover, and this one was recorded by or from a 16567C locomotive. So uh, they do sound a little bit different and what the idea here is that you can mix and match the prime movers if you have an A and a B unit or, or an earlier F3 maybe and you want to mix and match the sounds a little bit so everything doesn't have to sound the same and that's kind of the idea between the two different files. Uh, but in this file if we open up the horn move this over a little, move this up, we can see that we have A125 and the A200. And these are both hi-fi 16-bit uh, files. So you can you can actually come down here. Oh, I'll show you how this works. You can just double click on that. Click on the init and it'll show you here the sample that's going to play when that plays. And it's Leslie A125 init.wave. And we can come down here and we can find it in the list, Leslie H125 init.wave. And we come over here and we see that it's a 16 bit file. That proves that all these Leslie A125 files we're going to need, these are the sound snips, these are all 16 bits. Just below it is the A1, A200, and all of those are also 16 bits. You can see 16, 16, 16, and 16. So they're all going to be what we want the hi-fi 16-bit file. We're going to actually capture this information that you see here and move it over to the other sound file. And this is how we do that. So we're going to actually start I could like, just leave that open. Remove this out of the way. And we have to get something in sound slot 2. So we're going to put this Leslie A125 in sound slot 2. So we can come over here and we can put anything in here we want. We're going to delete it anyway. It doesn't really matter. So for sake of argument, since we're using a 125, we'll just use the 125. It could be any of these, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to move that over. Once it's over, we double click it and we see this uh, schedule. And we're going to not use this, so all we got to do is control A and hit delete. And it removes it. And over here, I'm going to name it Hi-Fi. Oops. There we go. So now we can keep track of it. Over here, we've got this one open, and this is the one we want. So we're just going to highlight everything. You can also do a Control A to select all. Control C, copies. Click over here a couple times in the white, and then do a Control V, and that pastes it in. But now everything's not connected, so we just have to kind of line things up a little bit. So we're just going to line that up out right there. Click in the white, grab this arrow, bring it back to the mute. Grab this true and bring it back to the mute. Grab this one. 
This one didn't quite work. Grab it, move it to the init. Now it did. So now, eh, not quite. Come on. There we go. Once they turn black, they're good. Now there's one other thing we have to do in this one. We have to just click that line, hit plus, and put function. And it'll automatically fill it in with function equals true. This is so that the function key, horn, the horn key button two, actually turns the horn on. We have to put that in, click here, now it changes it to F equals true. And I just clicked in the white to make that happen. So now this is good. And you can check it, just come up here and hit validate. And if you don't see any little red X's, you're good. There's no red X's, so we, we should be good here. And this file, this one's done. So we just hit X. And now we see Leslie A125 Hi-Fi in sound slot 2. So now we're going to do the same thing for the A200. We're just going to come down here to sound slot 28. It's the next open one. And we're just going to find the A200. Not that it matters because, again, we're going to change it. So move that over, open that up. Come back over here. We're going to close this one. We're going to open up the A200 from the template. And this time I'm just going to... So we'll start here and do a control A and a delete. Here we're going to do a control A and a copy, control C. A couple of times in the white, click V, control V, paste it in. This one's going to line up a little nicer. Hopefully this line doesn't... There we go, it already went. Line that up there with the mute. Line that one up with the mute. And again, like before, we have to make this function equals true. Click on the white and it goes to F equals true. Validate. No red X's. We're good to go. Also up here we can change this to hi-fi just so that we remember it's the hi-fi file. <clears throat> and close the deal here. So now we see Leslie A125 in sound slot 2 hi-fi and Leslie A200 down here in 28 hi-fi. That's pretty much the hardest part of this. And then all you have to do is come over here to decoder, function mapping, and then the row for, for horn, which is two, you see first generation horn pack two. We're not gonna need that anymore. We're gonna get rid of that sound slot. We're gonna do sound slot two, because that's got our horn. You can see it even labeled it, Leslie A125 Hi-Fi. And then down here in sound slot 28, Leslie A200 Hi-Fi, click that one so they're both in the box. And then all you got to do is write it to the decoder. Now in this case you have to do a whole sound file right using a local programmer. This isn't something you can you can do with just CVs. You have to do a whole write with the local programmer. Um, because we, we changed the sound schedule, anytime you do anything in the sound schedule, you have to write the whole sound, sound file to the decoder. Um, but it takes about 25-30 minutes and then you can test it. And I do have one that's already done. So we can uh, go to the driver's cab here and hopefully this will work. I'm playing this right off the decoder through a scale sound system speaker. And this is what it gets. Now sometimes it, it doesn't always go immediately when you hit the, the F2 button, and I'm wondering if that's just be being on the computer. I haven't tried it actually through a DCC system, but <clears throat> the two horns are there. And then if you want to change the volumes on the two horns, you go back to decoder, come down here to sound slot settings, and you'll see sound slot 2 is labeled A125 Hi-Fi. You can even preview it here. And then down here is the 200, and you can see the volumes are actually different by default, but they're both there. <clears throat> if you wanted to uh, set them both to 100, you just slide the slider up to 100. So they're both 100, and then you can hit the write data. This is just data, so it only takes about 10 seconds to write, as long as your decoder has got the current firmware. I will mention that it's always good to keep your low programmer software updated. The latest one is 5.1.1 and that'll give you the latest version uh, 5.4.130 of the firmware. That's pretty much it. If you want a higher volume on your horn you can do that. If you want to balance them a little bit better because you can hear one over the other one. Um, 
I, I kind of could hear the Leslie A125 a bit more than the 200 just because it's a deeper sound. You could lower this a little bit and that would uh, maybe balance them out. I, you'd have to trial and error this. I haven't done that part, but just have to trial and error it until you get where you want. Um, and that's really about it. And uh, that should wrap this short video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. And uh, we'll catch you next time with a new video, hopefully soon. Rio Grande fan out.